All right, we set up. Um, I'm Bailey Howell, but don't have a little thing. I'm a senior and I'm the secretary of the Student Government Association. Um, I came as a freshman to USA from JCX because um, I was so interested in the theater department and as our show showed that it is so much, it's so huge here and I loved it. So I came here and everyone was so welcoming and the admissions counselors were so <laughs> were so good and just got me in the right place for all my classes and I got so I got involved in so much more than theater. Um, I got cross country but theater has really it's rocked my world and I've loved it and I wouldn't have traded it for anything. So if you're looking here it's definitely a place to be. Um so as Dr. Philip said we thought that it would be neat for y'all to hear from some of our students we have here. And um, I'm going to ask them a few questions just to get started, and then I'm going to open it up to any of the Rising Night Code students or parents or anybody who wants to ask questions. my seventh production of the PSJ is Maria and the Sound of Music, and it was so great. I watched that movie all the time when I was little, so it was really just a dream being able to do it. And Dr. Grant is so great at incorporating everyone, no matter who you are, you've never even been in a musical before. It is so much fun. I highly recommend it. And we have a great choreographer too, Erica Davison. She is just fantastic. She's choreographed everything in every school in the region, so I really enjoyed it, and even if you don't sing or you don't think you can sing well or act, you can still be a part of it, and it is so much fun. I highly recommend it. I'm in art club, and I love art, and Miss Lynch is really good and really lenient, and like, we'll do anything for you to get in any scholarship or anything for your art, and it's just, it's a really amazing thing to do, and I recommend it even if you aren't good, it's still fun. Very so. um, I have been in an art class every single year I've ever been at USJ, and um, it is pretty awesome. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in two AP art classes this year, actually, and I'm looking at art schools, and I have, I'm more prepared than I think I would have ever been anywhere else. And um, you know, she talks about Miss Lynn, she's an amazing art teacher, and she knows exactly what colleges want and she really concentrates on um, you know like direct observation drawing and all that stuff everything you need to um, excel in the arts and um, I, I have loved it and um, I've been accepted at the Memphis College of Art and I'm given a full ride actually and um, I've been accepted at Watkins College of Art in Nashville and Savannah College of Art which is my dream school. It's like one of the biggest art schools in the nation. Like, that's the USJ of art schools, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've, got, I've had scholarships at all of them, so if that tells you anything, um, I've definitely been well prepared in the art world. So, um, I've been involved with All West every year since I was in seventh grade, and I know it's a huge deal because when we go, um, you're so prepared and we just blow out everybody else and so when we come and you're sitting with someone from another school and they say where are you from and I'm like USJ and like oh you're one of the 77 I'm like yeah <laughs> that's us um, and it's just been such a wonderful opportunity to meet people and um, all west then leads to all state and so in high school we have the opportunity to go to Chattanooga and um, audition in an octet and it's just um, such wonderful opportunities that come along with um, the vocal, the performing arts, that kind of thing. And our teachers are so willing to help us and meet us after school to help and just anything we ever need. Um, they've got it out of backs. And so um, it's just been really neat to be involved vocally. Um, so I've been involved with the band program at USJ since about the sixth grade. And um, I really have to say, it's been one of my favorite experiences here. Um, 
First of all, the, the one thing that you see when you go out on the football field, of course, you see all the athletes, you see how well they're playing. And then uh, you hear the music coming out of the speakers, but then one of the things you notice that, um, I don't know, after some of the plays, and at every touchdown, you hear the pet band playing. And I don't know, that's just something for me. I just love playing with the band, um, Dr. Grant and Mr. Grant. Um, Mr. Grant's the band director, and he's done really well with um, encouraging the people who are in the band, um, helping them to uh, realize their full potential and be able to excel. Um, we also play with the Pit Orchestra in the uh, school musicals, which is a lot of fun, because you get to, um, sure, if you want to participate, but maybe you might be a little shy, you don't want to get up on the stage, you can express yourself by being part of the band and uh, I don't know, it's just been a really wonderful experience for me. All right, well, um, I'm a three-sport athlete. I play football, basketball, and baseball. And if you're looking to play like multiple sports, it's it's really uh, great here because all the coaches are uh, they're well and um, they help you out going from sport to sport. It's not like they want you for the whole year. It's like they help you transition from each sport and they help you out going from one to the next, and that's really awesome. And if you've never played a sport before, they they're really great coaches and they help you out and show you all the fundamentals. And even if you're like a freshman, you're coming in as freshman and you don't think you can play, we, uh, we have multiple levels that you can play at. We have a freshman team, a JV team, and a varsity. So it's, you have multiple opportunities to play. Another thing I'd just like to say is the coaches are really lenient with them. They, they know USJ has a, a strict academic, academic rigor and, and they know that sometimes you need a little extra help after schools and in the classroom. So if you have go to tutoring after school and if you want to get all the extra help after school that they understand don't you miss a few minutes practice as much as you need. So. I played tennis all five years so yeah, well, eighth grade and the past this this year included four years of high school and for me it never really stopped There's school tennis and then tournaments outside of school but with both seasons uh, the teachers are really understanding whether it's even in AP classes I mean, missing even one day in class can be real, real tough, and especially you know in season when you miss, you can miss two days in a week sometimes even. But when you have the teachers there who are really, I mean, they've got your back and they're looking to back you up and make sure you both cover the material you know that you missed that day, and also learn it just as well as anyone else in the class did. Um, I guess that's just the satisfaction that you have knowing that even though you're representing your school and support, your teachers realize that and that they want you to exceed in that. Also on our right side is on too. And what we do is we have nine members of the honor council, and we we govern the, the upper school on the on the basis of no lying, cheating, or stealing. And so, if, if any upper school members are caught lying, cheating, or stealing, they come to a group of peers instead of going to somebody like Dr. Phillips or somebody scary like Coach Wilkes. But they actually come. To, <laughs> they come to us. And might not seem might not seem that, but actually I've heard from several people that it's very intimidating being judged by, not being judged, but being, being looked at by and being reviewed by a group of your peers is, is even worse. Um, we like to, what, what we do is just try to keep the upper school in check and make it a fair playing ground for everybody and just just keep keep the school how we think it, think it should be, working clean and, um, and doing work and being responsible for yourself. I'll definitely have a second what PV says. You know, we like these guys for a reason. They're they're on our, you know, with their honor and stuff. Um, it's kind of like if you buy your own car, um, rather than your parents buying it, you're going to take care of it more. Um, I know my dad's sitting there; he's probably laughing now. Um, <laughs> <laughs>
But really, uh, you know, liking these guys, um, it gives our school, like Dr. Phillips always says, that, that excellent standard that we want to maintain. Uh, it's not just in the academic field, but, you know, everywhere throughout the school, it encompasses, you know, lying, cheating, and stealing. So all that, it's more, uh, it's more like a pride thing that we want to maintain that uh, excellence. I guess the paper is not just something that is, I guess, a, a singular accomplishment. We have a panel, which is called our thesis committee, of uh, three or four faculty members that have been here with us through all, all four years of our high school, as well as Ms. Clark, our teacher. And the, the neatest part about it is that those on the, on the panel, they don't necessarily try to influence the way you think and try to shift your thinking, but they try to help you foster, I guess, your creativity and what you believe and kind of help you build your identity in yourself. And that's something that I don't know of any other school around here or really for that matter in the state that does this, uh, a thesis paper as intensive as we do. And then whether it's AP classes or honors, I mean, these two, Every student not only prepared for our AP exams, but in college, I mean, a lot of the guys that I know are you know, skipping the first two years of college Spanish and just going straight into the third year because they're that prepared. And you know, I mean, all most of the people that take our AP calculus go on and actually skip all of single variable calculus and go straight to differential calculus and multivariable calculus in college. So. There's a lot of people that graduate from USJ and have already knocked out of about you know, a year and a half to almost two years of college based off of AP credits. And I mean, not only for the money factor, but just as far as being prepared for college, that's a, a huge thing that you're not going to find anywhere else. Um, one thing about USJ that I've found is um, just really sticks out in my mind is how we view our excellence and how much pride we take in our school. And looking around at other schools around here, I have not noticed that anyone took as much pride in their school as we do. I think we can agree on that. But Connor touched on it. We have so much pride in being USJ and being a Bruin and um, just being excellent that it's just overwhelming. And that carries on with us throughout our community and through service. And um, I'm an SGA chaplain, and so I'm in charge of, not in charge, but I lead the service committee, um, which has all of the club chaplains. And so each club has to have a community service project. And just seeing our students take the initiative to go out into the community and find a problem, address it, and then have a service project to change it. Um, and that affects our whole school, which then affects our whole community. Um, and it's just the excellence living on within us and within our Recently, we just began our thesis journey with picking a topic, and we're very overwhelmed. But we have such a great we have, it's true. Um, we have such great support though from our teachers, and they're so involved, and they want us to pick a topic that we feel like we can really write about for a year and a half of our life. Um, because, like I said, it's a big deal. Not a lot of schools get to do that, so. I um, also wanted to touch on my yearbook class experience. As a junior, I don't plan to major in journalism or even communications or anything in that area in college. And at a lot of schools, I wouldn't be able to explore that area. Um, being a math-minded person and a very scientific, and just I, I think that that's so neat about your shade that I can be a part of the yearbook staff that's won many awards and just do it for fun and have such a great sponsor. And I used to think that your book was like, you write the little stories and you take the pictures and we send it off to this company and they make it and then we get back. I thought that's what that was for many years. And it's not. Um, if Margaret Jones is here, no, she's not. Um, she's the yearbook editor along with Kaylee Wayner and Amy Garrett. 
many other people, but they work so hard on the whole staff does. So um, if any of you ninth graders are interested in your vote, you actually have to apply to ninth grade year to be in it your sophomore year. It's that cool. Um, <laughs> you have to wait. She makes you wait all year. Um, I think she's actually just observing you your ninth grade year to see if you're even a camp. It's a great program, so I would encourage you to trying to take an honors course or an AP course if you can or um, if you're willing. They're very challenging but they're worth it. They teach you different ways to think around the um, outside the box and they really teach you work ethic. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things about from honors and AP courses and the colleges definitely value the time that you place into those. Um, I'll briefly say I have a brother who's currently in college and um, he actually sent me a text message one day that said, please tell Mr. Newman that these people don't even know um, about one of the topics we learned last year, or please tell Mr. Newman that they're not even doing this type of calculus. <laughs> or please tell Mr. Newman that they are not even doing A plus B equals C. Um, so basically, it, it matters what you do in high school, and um, there's so many great opportunities and courses, so take advantage of it. One thing that you can rest assured is that any college, USJ has kind of built, I guess, over the years, a certain reputation with not only the colleges that we have people regularly apply to, but also colleges that, I guess, you know, there's colleges talk and other representatives from colleges talk to each other. And USJ's reputation speaks for itself, but I mean, no one, I think, here, everyone, when you apply to a college, you don't have to worry about did I take the right classes if you've taken, you know, even if you've taken just a college prep class. But if you take the honors and AP track, I mean, Aquia got it was admitted to Harvard and Lindsay is in Rhodes. And I mean, all of us here have gotten in pretty much everywhere we've applied. So, you know, I mean, if you apply yourself, we have, you know, the resources, the teachers, and the administration, and the student body that is going to make sure that you're everywhere you need to be uh, when you're applying to colleges. I highly recommend if an opportunity comes that you're not so sure about, you should take it. Earlier this year, my dad called me and he said that their radio station, 93.7, was looking for a color commentator and he told me I should do it. And I was really nervous about it. 
And I, and I said no at first, but then I called him right as he was talking. I was really concerned about it, thank God. And he told him I wanted to do it. So Jonathan Atkins and I both took turns um, being the color commentator, and it was so much fun. The experience was great, taking stats, being able to talk on the radio, getting to work with Mr. Hilton. He is so great at what he does. So I highly recommend to anyone who ever receives an opportunity like that, you know, you're not, you know I wanted to sit in the student section with my friends. But whenever Jonathan was doing it instead of me, I kind of missed being up there. So I was just dying to bring him water or something just so I could be in there for a few seconds. So I highly recommend that you take advantage of any opportunity that comes your way. back now, I wish I had known how much, I guess you could say, power that the students had here, um, because when I was a freshman, oh my goodness, I was so timid, didn't want to be in anything, I was too scared, you know, classic freshman syndrome, I guess, and um, by the time, you know, I got to sophomore year in the UK, you know, I'm into photography, there's nothing about photography here, we start a club, and you know, that's grown, now that I'm a senior, and we've started a photography class, and it's just amazing what you can actually do here as a student to get others involved, to involve yourself in things. And um, it's just, it's pretty awesome. Like what all you can do here. You have a lot of opportunities, as they've said, and um, a lot of um, choices and options to what you can do. And you know, there's SGA and all of that. So you have a lot of, um, a lot of power, I guess you could say. A lot of, oh, you have a voice here. That's the way I would put it. Um, which is awesome. You don't get that everywhere. this even when I came in fifth grade um, that it is really cool to be nerdy at USJ <laughs> and to want to study and do well and it's really cool um, and you can be a cheerleader play on the football team and have all A's and be in the musical and do all those things and it's really cool um, just to take advantage of all opportunities and you're not going to get in front of or anything because everybody's like that and um, we love to do uh, for me, uh, starting off my fifth grade year, I know the eighth grade teachers are emphasizing it now, but you really have to start taking it seriously in your grade um, My transcript kind of goes like this, this number right here. <laughs> but, but really, uh, these are the grades that go to college. So this is where your life really, really begins. Um, ninth grade is a big year. Uh, you can either start off low or you can start off really high. Um, it, it starts mattering. I wish I was, or could have been told that. You know, I'm, the, I'm a first child, so I'm kind of like a guinea, I'm the guinea pig of the family. You know, they, they see what I do wrong, and then they'll start with Jonathan. So, yeah. But uh, that's just what I would wish I would have uh, done better. But I would say that all of you, all of freshmen, especially the people who are looking to come here, um, who will be new, don't be scared. Just Come in with full play and just go for it. Just try everything you want to. Because as I said, you can work hard, make all A's, and still accomplish so much. So I would just say don't be scared and work hard in the classroom and then go do something that you love and enjoy. 